We're at 7.50 at KNEB. One other birthday to pass along. A happy 11th birthday going out to Rachel Fry of Scott's Bluff from your family. Time for News Extra brought to you today by Jolliffe Funeral Home. And here is Kevin Mooney. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We're all about the Scotts Bluff County Fair today and the activities surrounding it. We have Fair Manager Lana Hubbard here to talk about the fair. And we also have Dave Powell from the Mitchell Kiwanis Club. And uh, he's going to be talking about the big uh, Kiwanis pancake breakfast coming up here tomorrow. So, so Lana, it all kind of gets going, really. Well, you had the, you had your rodeo last we weekend. We did. And uh, that kind of got things kicked off. You got you had pretty good crowds for that? Yeah, we did. Um, you know, we had great contestant attendance. Um, had a few ex-world champions there. and. That came, you know, that's so pretty you, good yeah, with the is. Cheyenne Frontier Days yes. Rodeo going on at the same time. Absolutely. So uh, it went well. And so now uh, you embark on a week where uh, you'll be really busy and you prepare for this all year. So let's kind of run down uh, how we start. We start on, uh, on Monday with the dedication of the new building. Commissioner Ken Meyer is going to be there to do that, right? That's what I understand. Yep. They'll kick off with a ribbon cutting and then go into the sheep show. Yeah, and the new building is uh, is really fantastic. I was in it yesterday on the way back from the mm -hmm. Goshen County it's Fair Parade, nice. and it's wonderful. It is. It's it's awesome, and you know a lot of work went into the last last month. That's for sure. Yeah, so it'll be all ready to go. They have the pens in there. They have the grandstands, and so it mm -hmm. should be a great place for shows and just a lot of different things that that you guys can do. So, uh, all right, so we have all the shows, and then let's kind of talk about some of the night activities now. Okay. Well, we start, uh, the FFA alumni will have the lawnmower races on Tuesday night. Okay. And then Wednesday night is the 30th annual rubber chuck race, and that's selling as usual. It's all <laughs> sold out, pretty much. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we're doing some standing room, yeah. some overflow tickets, and... You know, that's just kind of where we can fit people in. But, um, yeah, that, that sells well all the time. Yeah. You know, we have the new event on Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. Um, KNB, Texaco Showdown, Showdown at 6. That's right. And we have, uh, from what I know, I don't know, seven, I think, seven people that have signed right. up so far. Yeah. Great. And I think we had maybe uh, as many as ten last year. Mm -hmm. Stonegate Road is back. To right. defend their championships. Their championship. Yeah. So when does when does uh, the uh, Texaco Country Showdown start? That starts at six p.m. Okay. at the grandstands, All right. and then following that, Five to Live will be opening for um, JB and the Moonshine Band. Okay. And I hear they are a great band. Yeah. Um, lots of fun, kind of that Southern rock, you know. So I think it's just going to be a fun evening. Something new we're trying, but you know, I hope people come out and and support it because. It's kind of another night of a concert, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, a little different type music than what Saturday night will be. So, you know, we're just trying to cover all the areas. All right. Any uh, any cover charge to get in? Um, it's $10 if you get your tickets now. Okay. At the gate, they'll be 12 All right. So. so you want to save a couple bucks, get your tickets now. That's right. You can get them at the fair office. Uh, I would imagine. You, can you get them here? I'm not even sure. No. Everything's at the everything's fair Everything's at office. the fair. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Okay, um, and then uh, Friday night the mud bog. The built for tough mud bog. Uh, Matt, Matt Silverman. That's Matt, right. Matt will be in next week. Talk a little bit yeah. more about that. He always has lots of exciting things planned for that night. Yeah. So does a great job, and then Saturday night nitty gritty. Yeah. Now nitty gritty, you were doing really well. Absolutely, the tickets are selling awesome. They're you know all all day long. It seems like we're selling tickets. So I think we're up around that fifteen hundred right now. And they just keep coming in, so, how so many, get your tickets. How many can you fit in? If you, you know, really I can to. seat about 1,700, you know, but standing room, you know, and folding chairs, you know, the arena's large, so, yeah, so you I, can can, get a lot of I can get a lot of people in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and so 1,700 is just uh, the grandstand area, right, right? the bleacher and grandstand areas, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, if you haven't got your tickets, you better hurry up and do it. Absolutely. Right? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, selling out fast. And uh, how much tickets again? They're $16, and they'll be 18 at the gate. All right. So get them early. Right. You can save yourself a couple bucks. All right. Uh, wristbands for the carnival? Mm-hmm. Um, you can get those at Murdoch's or Main Street Market. 
Okay. okay. And you can get those up until uh, the carnival will start Tuesday around five. Okay. And so you can get those up to probably that afternoon. And uh, how much are wristbands? They are twenty dollars, and then I'm sure there'll be more at the at the ticket yeah. office when you, you yeah. know, if you choose to wait. Okay. All right. Anything else we need to plug as far as uh, daytime activities? You got? I have some grounds acts coming in. I have for a couple days, which would be um, Tuesday evening, Wednesday and Thursday. I have a miniature golf um, set up. They travel really? around. Yeah, they have a little nine hole course that yeah. they can, you know, an obstacle yeah. that they can um, set up. And then I have a this is more for the younger kids, but it's a traveling strolling act turtle, a large, large turtle that is interactive and such. And um, Heartland Productions, which is a, a group of musicians, they'll be playing on the free stage daily. And then on Thursday, Friday, I have a motocross stunt group coming in. Wow. So, so, so get on up there almost any day. There's stuff right. to do. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. All kinds of concessions, always. Uh huh. As great usual. food vendors. We got great commercial vendors. Yeah. You know, so yeah, stop up. There's something for everyone. All right. Very good. All right. We'll get Dave in here to talk about the breakfast right after this. He's doing pretty well. Each day we can do the funeral service. We're hanging in there. Not just a day in a lifetime. I'm hanging in there. That's right. That's what's happening. I'm getting too old. Laugh and look at that. Well, you know, I try to change it up. Change it up a little bit. You know, a couple of years you do something and then you try to find something different. All right, we are back on News Extra. We've just had Lana Hubbard in here, Scotts Bluff County Fair Manager, to discuss the fair. And as part of the fair, of course, is the uh, Mitchell Kiwanis Breakfast. Dave Powell is here with the Mitchell Kiwanis Club. And uh, 51 years this will be. Well, that's what we officially calculated it at. Uh, the memory and uh, records are pretty sketchy going back into the uh, early 1960s on there. but. But uh, John Stander, uh, who was president last year, did some research and visited with a number of different individuals, and that was the best that he could ascertain on there. So, uh, and, and but the pancake bre breakfast actually went on even before that. It started sometime in the early 1950s. So it's been 60 plus years, and uh, Qantas has been at the helm of it now, 50 plus years as well. So right. we're excited about that. That's pretty good. You guys have uh, 12 members now. We're right at 12. And uh, that's actually doubled from what we were uh, uh, a couple of years ago. We moved to an evening uh, meeting format, uh, uh, and that allows people to participate that had not been able to do it before. So, and it's a good group of people, although we're always looking for more to, uh, to help uh, reinforce our numbers and, and uh, allow us to do more things. All right, and their meeting is uh, the last uh, Tuesday of the month, uh, evening meeting out at the tee box. Uh, restaurant out at Mitchell Golf Course. So explain what's going on on uh, Saturday morning, tomorrow morning. With okay, the well, uh, we've always been blessed to have really good weather yep. for, for that. One of these times we might get rained out, but it sounds like per dawn day that it should be okay. Should be pretty good. So we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed on that, but it starts at 6 a.m., runs until 9 a.m. It's at the city parking lot, which is across from the Mitchell Market, uh, the old food pride. Um, and we set up tables and, and just do it open air and serve up uh, pancakes, sausage, eggs, coffee and juice, all you can eat. Uh, and we try to keep it reasonable. Uh, our tickets are $6 for adults and $3 for kids uh, 12 and under. And babies will just let them in. All right, you guys are pretty generous. All right, uh, pretty affordable and it's great food and a chance to kind of sit around and talk with your neighbors and get the whole fair started, right? Well, that's the idea. Uh, Come on out and, and enjoy a pancake. Uh, the, the parade starts at 10:30, and mm -hmm. usually the way that times for a lot of those people is they they come and eat pancakes and then they go get set up for the parade and it starts you know a little, little bit later that morning. All right, good deal. All right, congratulations, you guys, on the 51st parade. Thank you. All right, 
Very good. Lana Hubbard and Dave Powell here to talk about the big Scottsbluff County Fair. It starts next week. Make sure you make time to get out to Mitchell.